Hey, uh, we got uh, Wired Magazine. Some dude over there, Steve uh, Knopper. Knopper. Steve Knopper. Deuce Satchel. Is the uh, K silent? It must be. So it's Steve Knopper. And the guy doesn't like us, and he can write whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, we're trying to get him on the phone, but of course he's avoiding us. All right, Wired Magazine. So this guy, uh, Steve Knopper, just taking cheap shots at us, whatever. But uh, the guy won't uh, come on our show to discuss this. Of course. There's a new rating system for radio. We can't really uh, get into it too much, but we can read this article. Arbitron's portable people meter eavesdrops on your musical life is the uh, title of this article in Wired Magazine. We've been in Wired Magazine many, many times over the years. And this guy writes uh, uh, this article, and it starts off by saying, Ever wonder why those twits, Opie and Anthony, get to be radio stars? Twits? So call our show. And we'll Ever wonder why cuntbag Steve Knopper uh, gets to write for a magazine? He's in like Denver. What? Go ahead, Jimmy. No, so how do you spell his last name? Knopper, uh, K-N-O-P-P-E-R. I believe you could go on Wired Magazine or Wired.com, and you could comment about this article. Is that true there, Iraq? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you can go to Wired.com and comment about this uh, particular uh, article. You know why twits like us become radio stars, uh, you idiot? Because uh, we go on the radio and give people a show that apparently they uh, enjoy and want to listen to. Right. Steve Knopper. Why are people fucking, uh, uh, w why would people read your articles? Because you write about us and we talk about it. Believe me, no one was fucking reading this. And you know what? I, I know it's easy to just, uh, you know, beat the crap out of them on Wired.com, but uh, some other people ask him, why won't you uh, go on Opie and Anthony's show and discuss why you called them twits? They would really like yeah, to know. Go ahead. Instead of hiding behind your stupid keyboard. He covers the music business for Rolling Stone. Of course uh, he does. Ah, that's. Of course he does. Now it makes sense. Yeah, he's a fuck. He's one of those. He's one of those too hip for the room. Yep. Wanna be little cunts. Right. He looks like a little mama's boy. Wanted wants, to be a rock star. Or a radio guy. He wanted to be Couldn't. something. But what he is, look at the fucking Elliot Gould smile on his Ugh. stupid face. I have no respect for journalists that uh, won't come on our show after they write something, you know, about us. I you like know, if you're brave enough to do it with a with a typewriter with your key with your laptop, uh, you should be brave enough to call our radio show. I like to give him the speech Elliot Gould got in American History X. <laughs> Steve <laughs> Knopper. Yeah. Oh, well, what a jerk off he looks like. Steve Knopper. Oh, what is that? Huh? It's um, good call. I think Ope said it. Well, the wannabe jerk off with the fucking lipless smile. Um, is uh, uh, a wannabe rocker, and, oh. he's, uh, and there's pictures of him in a band. Go, uh, go up a little higher, please. The name of it is called. Up higher, buddy. Uh, it's called the An Evening of Blurt in Chicago, and it was uh, the Empty Bottle. And uh, back in 2000. Yeah, he's raising money for Cabrini Green Tutoring Program, uh, the Lester Bangs Memorial Tribute Band, and I'd love to get audio on these fucking dick bags. Um, he plays like, he plays the, uh, like, the synthesizer or piano. Oh, of course he He's does. He's just a nerd. Huh. Well. Ew. What an asshole. Wanna be failure? Yeah, he wants You're to be a rock You're a fucking guy. failure, dickbag. Just a jerk off And you rice. can't stand anybody that's been a success in whatever they do, because you're a fucking failure, you, you write for uh, uh, a bunch of uh, magazines. Great. You write little blurbs in a bunch of magazines. Can't hold down one fucking magazine. No magazine said, wow, you're good. We want you. Oh, my God. And he's married. No offense. He's married to fucking. He's married to Iraq <laughs> with a wig. With a fucking mullet wow. wig. Wow. She looks like Eric with a mullet wig. Iraq <laughs> with a uh, spinal tap wig. <laughs> no offense, Eric. None oh. taken. Too bad Iraq's not here today. So can we read this article from uh, Steve Knopper? He uh, he writes, Ever wonder why those twits, Opie and Anthony, get to be radio stars? Blame Arbitron. And perhaps yourself, he writes. I guess he wasn't down in Washington to, to see how big this show has no. gotten. Uh, since the 1960s, the survey research company has paid listeners to keep a handwritten log of every station they tune into. Arbitron crunches the numbers, releases the ratings, and presto. And presto. Uh, doofus shock jocks stay on the air. So he has a problem with shock jocks in general. Doofus. But we're more than shock jocks. You doofus. But, but this, it's so typical of a fucking guy that writes for Rolling Stone 
or one of those magazines to be like one of these just elitist little cunts yep. who's writing about a show that he's in Denver. He probably doesn't, he's never heard, or he's heard very briefly. We're not on in Denver, and I doubt he has any certain except. news about us. Yeah, he's just, he's one of these little, like, uh, these little snotty, uh, wants to be seen as this, like, really hip genius type of guy, uh, jerk off. There you go. And he writes, uh, now with the introduction of its portable people meter, the company is on the verge of a radical uh, leap into the present. The BlackBerry-sized gadget clips to listeners' clothing, eliminating the log. Participating broadcasts are encoded with the uh, inaudible ID code, which is picked up by a sensor in the device. Whether you're bopping to Kylie Minogue in your car or swaying to air supply in the produce aisle... He just used oh the, my the worst God. two examples ever. He's either trying to be clever or funny. He's doing one of the two. It's not even honest writing. He's trying to be clever or funny. Your only job is to carry it, says Arbitron's uh, Tom Makarski, and we know when you do. After five years of testing, the system was rolled out in New York and Houston. Uh, it was not rolled out in uh, New York and Houston. No. Nope. Dope. It was rolled out in Philly, and I'm not sure, sure about Houston, but definitely not New York. Not, Jackass. I think New York, it, it rolls out in the fall. Or like October, if I'm not well, October is the fall, of course. It'll go nationwide by uh, nationwide by 2010. Eventually, Arbitron will have 70,000 of these deployed, all but banishing survey bias from the ratings. Uh, all this is good news for Aerosmith fans. Uh, rock stations have been losing ground to hip hop, Spanish, and talk, but they score high on the people meter. Unfortunately, that also means Opie and Anthony, whose main outlet is New York's K Rock. Maybe, uh, unfortunately, that means they may be with us a little longer. Oh, sorry. Sorry, douchebag. Us? You're in Denver. You're talking about New York. Exactly, you fucking faggoty Rolling Stone writer. You fucking little faggoty jerk. Well, write about Jackson Brown. Why don't you do that? Why don't you write an article about In Excess? That's what you ought to be doing if you work for Rolling Stone. Write an article about them, the Jackson Brown, how much you like him. <laughs> fucking douche so you could comment about this article on wire.com and uh have fun with them have fun with them pest yeah go ahead steve knopper i don't like his name and his wife is odd looking and it's spelled knopper uh where's steve is with a k uh, has, has he wrote him back yet because steve wrote emails this morning trying to get a hold of him steve knopper at yahoo.com or something like that oh. wait oh. you want his email address or the status of no, the status. I want to see if he's like uh, contacted. Uh, he has uh, not counted as far as coming on our show and uh, getting to the bottom of why he called us twits. He he's not contacted us. <laughs> well, Listen, have, have we called him? I haven't been talking this whole time. You guys are warm. Um, no, he well, hasn't. He he has Steve's number. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say, and it took me forever. Yes, all right. He gave it to him at a gay bar, allegedly. Steve, what do we got on uh, Steve no, Knopper? Yet. No emails yet. Anyway. Yeah. Call him? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm looking for his contact yeah, number, but he's a freelance out in uh, out in Denver. By the way, this is, uh, maybe he's not listed. You try it? Yes. Oh. Another moron reporter who doesn't get the show. This Wired Magazine thing, I guess. Yeah. This guy has a problem with us for a little bit. Some reason. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's coming up in about a half hour. Why can't he call right now? Yeah. Right the fuck now. Call now. Call now. Be dialing. I want him to actually give his point here. Yeah. I don't want a big, like, pile on. Well. A big, like, uh, three guys to, to, uh, with him talking all at the same time. Let's see what he has to say. And then we get to talk. I'd love to hear how he knows where, like, what did he call us? Uh, twits, I think. Twits. And doofuses. Doof, doofuses. I haven't used doofus since I was in third grade. Well, the guy's a great writer, and that's why he uses terms like that. Oh, he's just a terrific. doofus. Yeah. Oh, and doofus. It just it proves the guy doesn't know this program. He's he's heard about it. He's heard the perception. <laughs> we could be doofuses on this program. Say, to me, it proves just the opposite. Wait, let me think. Sound. Oh, the last break, right? <laughs> uh, doofus. <laughs> I'm more goofus. And you're gallant. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Is that good? Goofus and gallant. All right. Uh, we got Alex Trebek doing some outtakes here. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we were supposed to get to this yesterday, too. It's a potty mouth. We're playing all the stuff we were supposed to get to yesterday, but we went off on a little, uh, a little foundrymusic.com thing yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Bill K. from Philly. Yeah, Opie, no pile on. 
Ah, we'll see what he has to say. No, no, it's not that I don't like Jeopardy. I'm just trying to drive traffic to the prices right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, wait, we got Steve? No, no, no. I want to hear Alex Trebek's outtakes, but I was trying to drive traffic to crumb crisp coating. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Knopper. Yeah. Ah, here he is. From Wired Magazine? Yeah, that's the one. Well, we read your, uh, well, we got Googled because, you know, when we're mentioning an article, they Google uh, alert us, and uh, we read your article in Wired Magazine. Right. And, the other one. and uh, you were talking about the people uh, meter, the people right. meter, right? Right. Which is going to take over for Arbitron. Arbitron is a way to to see what radio stations, uh, and uh, how they rate, but you have to fill right. out diaries, and they made it easier by uh, going electronic, and now, like, uh, potential listeners uh, wear beepers. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. I'd just like to time. know. I'd like to know what the like the first line in your uh, article. Ever wonder why those twits, Opie and Anthony, get to be radio stars? It says blame Arbitron, uh, or perhaps yourself. Uh, what? What? I don't get that whole first line. Why the twits, and then why blame somebody? I mean, if if we weren't popular in getting ratings, um, we wouldn't be what you called radio stars. I a little uncomfortable with that title myself but yeah. uh but uh, why, why all of a sudden like right off the bat it was uh knocking us do you have a little problem with us or something well you know i did investigative research on this subject pretty exhaustive and uh you know the data showed without question that uh twits was probably the right word what can i say and what does a twit describe for those people out there that don't uh, know what a twit is well, you know, I, I think I probably, in retrospect, after getting some of the email from your listeners, may have used some other words. I, I got some good ideas that way. So, What were other words? You could, you could say them. We're on XM. Yeah. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Douchebag, asshole, fuckface. You know, those are some good ones. Okay. You have some pretty eloquent listeners. Yeah, um, our, our, well, our listeners are our listeners. Um, but you say, wonder why those twits, Opie and Anthony, get to be radio stars. Uh, what, what's the problem that you have with us? You obviously have some kind of problem. What is it? Prove your, I mean, I think the burden of proof is kind of on you, so just, you know, tell no, me why no, you're no, not. No, you, you wrote the article. Why are we doofuses and, and uh, twits? Yeah, what do you know about our show, Steve? I just, I, I just thought that the word twit was an appropriate word. and you know. What do what you, you know about our show, Steve? Steve, you're a writer. To, to say twit, yeah. you're a writer. You, you're able to express yourself. So what do you know about our show, and why would you call us twits? Yeah. Give us an example well, of twittiness. You know, I just like to stand by the word. I think I'll just stand by what I wrote there. I think. But that, no, no, that no, was... We're not saying you couldn't stand by it. No one yeah. is saying that you're even wrong. I don't even mind it. We're saying just wondering. simply, what is it that made you write that? I mean, you're, like, I've, I've written too. Apparently, you've written a book. I heard you wrote a book. So yeah, you obviously... Okay, so you're good at conveying ideas. So you conveyed an idea, and we're asking you now to do it verbally. And I... you're, all you're saying is, I'm going to stand by it. Yeah, I'm just going to stand by it, and I'll just I'll just let you guys show me why you're not twits. I mean, you have an opportunity here on the line to show me, you know, what 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 about you is not twit worthy. So show me. Hello. Hello. Okay, lost you. thing he said okay. we'll call him back pull the tape find well, out what well, he we said we all know what happened call him back was the bottom wow. line. see as soon as you challenge these writers you realize they have no clue about the radio show nothing and they get to just write whatever the fuck they want based on pretty much nothing it's not even that pretty much a reputation that they might have heard in the media what was great was watching him try to be like have bravado like uh no i'm just gonna stand by it you have to prove yourself to me but when you ask the guy like no no for real we're not attacking you <clears throat> why he had nothing. I think we were proving that we weren't twits by, by giving him a forum to talk okay. about what he Steve. wanted to talk about. Steve, what happened? Yeah, Why you, I'm back. What's the, yeah, what's the problem, sweetie? Why'd you, why'd you hang up? I didn't hang up. I got cut off. Oh. I, was, I was talking oh, okay. and I got cut off. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, now, I think, I think we're proving we're not twits by actually giving you a, a forum here with a civil conversation to talk about your, your article. 
I really right. think that kind of proves a point right there. Sure, that's fine. We can talk. Uh, you want to talk about the people meter? Let's talk about that. No, no, no. We want to no, talk about Steve, why you said what you, you said. You said, ever wonder why those twits, Opie and Anthony, get to be radio stars? Blame Arbitron. And then you say, so uh, at the end of that, doofus shock jock stay on the air. So we're, do we're doofuses, too. So, <laughs> doofus. and, and you end by saying, unfortunately, <laughs> that also means Opie and Anthony, whose main outlet is New York's K-Rock, may be with us a little longer. So you have a real problem with Opie and Anthony. Yeah, unfortunately. So what is the problem with our show? Why are you calling us twits? It's a really I, simple question. And why, sure. why do you have a problem with us? I, I just decided that, you know, I, I thought that you were twits, and I thought that would be a good word. And I'm just going to stand by that. I think that's that Okay, but be, all right, let's get <laughs> see, beyond the twits. This guy doesn't even know our radio show. <laughs> Steve, you're, you're, you're looking really stupid as a writer all here. Right, you, guys. you wrote well, that I word. No, no, Steve. No, no you Steve. don't have to go. See, Stop yeah. with the have to go. Stay on the later. line. Thanks if you, if, hang, your up, you're gonna, if you hang up, you're going to look real silly. Listen Steve. to me. Forget about the twit. Forget about the twit thing, okay? Why does it say, unfortunately, that also means Opie and Anthony uh, may be with us a little longer? Forget about the twit or the name calling or whatever. What is it about us that you don't like that you mention us three times negatively in your article? Well, for one thing, you guys are spending about 10 minutes on a nationally syndicated radio show, which is, as, as, as you know, every minute is crucial, talking to some writer for Wire Magazine who popped off yes. in an article for a few paragraphs. So, uh, we like you know, to, I, no, no, now no, no, let no. me describe, let me describe a little bit about our program, which you don't seem that informed about. We do it's things it. like this because, because it's real life. It's something that affects us. Uh, our listeners enjoy kind of a behind the scene look when we pull the curtain back and uh, instead of coming up with wacky bits and things that are twittish and uh, uh, doofus-like. We like being real and putting real situations on the air, and that's what we're doing right now. This is real life. You're calling some guy who writes for Wired Magazine, and that's something that you, really you can't hide yeah. a lot Steve. of listeners in the world. Steve. It's affecting... Uh, it, yeah, it, it, you wrote it about our program. Our listeners are interested in what goes on and what we do and, and uh, people that like and don't like us. So uh, we're having a discussion with you. Yes, that's real life. It's, you and know. you seem to be saying something like, you shouldn't say something like, if you write an article, we're giving the article like, okay, this guy wrote an article, and then you're going, well, I'm just a guy who wrote an article. Why give me credit? It's like you can't write the article, say things, and then when people ask you about it, just go, well, I'm just a little guy who wrote an article. It's like that's kind of yeah. a cop-out, dude. Yeah, you can't even explain yourself. And, and we bring all the articles written about us to uh, to the attention of our listeners. We're not even we're not attacking you. We're asking you honestly. And uh, Steve, I think you've never heard our show. I don't think you really know about us, and you just kind of maybe watch TV and see some of the trouble we get into, and you've informed uh, this uh, uh, opinion that we're twits. Yeah. And that, well, so, so tell me about your show. No, no, we don't. See, we, you're, you're I knew it. You don't know our show, you're but not you're explaining but, yourself. But you're you're writing twits like you you know about our show, that you listen to our show, that you're educated about our show. But you're not, are you? Well, I think that uh, this is going in circles. So I'm going to. No, well, not, see, not. see if you and said <laughs> if you said that if you, you said, but if you uh, said it's unfortunate that Opie and Anthony are still going to be on K Rock. I mean, you you formed an opinion on our show that is negative based on what. On listening to it or on p other people's opinions on the news? Uh, what type of research did you do? He's gone. Oh, he's gone. He hung up. That's, that guy's everything. And by the wow. way, that's the reason I hate critics. And th that's, mm -hmm. that guy right there personifies what little faggots, <laughs> seriously, what little faggots most of these uh, uh, writers are. Like, nobody was screaming at the guy. He, no. he, instead of admitting, like, I'm ill-informed, or I, I believed what I saw on the news, mm -hmm. um, he was trying to have some kind of, uh, no, I just, uh, you know, I'm going to stand by it. This is going in circles. You see what a faggot most of these guys are when they're not hiding behind their fucking laptop. And, and he talks about how the, uh, the people meter is in New York and Houston. <laughs> it's only in Houston. It's not in New York yet. So the guy... Yeah. The guy didn't even have his uh, info right about uh, the people meter, the portable people meter that he was writing about in this Wired Magazine article. Steve Knopper, K-N-O-P-P-E-R. Oh. And um, he's a fraud. Jesus. He's another fraud, and I'm glad that uh, we were able to uh, expose all you, that. All today. I want to do is ask the guy. If he would have said, if you call us twits, then you, you should have a reason why uh, you're calling us twits in an article that a lot of people are going to read. Uh, hi. Yeah. Um, how about the fact that uh, you spent about uh, 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes making fun of retarded people? Uh, that, to me, uh, I think is a doofus and a twit.
Oh, wow. I think he's got us there. Uh, how come everything's got to turn into some kind of fucking uh, butt a fuck joke uh, when you're talking about? Oh, my God. We're in trouble now talking to this guy. He does seem informed about the program. We goof on retards and talk about butt fucking. <laughs> or at least we'd know why he had the opinion. At least we'd know some, that he heard the show. Uh, For the love of God. Uh, we, we got you it. didn't even hear the show. Come on a minute. You didn't even hear it. It's nice that we have a reputation out there that uh, guys can write about us that have never heard the radio show. He was shaking. There's nothing worse than some fucking pussy boy writer who can't even explain why he wrote what he wrote to people who aren't yelling and screaming at him. No. We were quiet. He would have been able to say what he had to say. What a little faggot motherfucker. Yeah, he I was, hope he was expecting that, that he was expecting just to be piled on and yelled at and be the martyr yeah. reporter. And it's like, and he just came off looking like an uninformed and it's, dick. And it's like, hey, you little failed musician. You fucking yeah, little exactly. wedding band failed musician. Don't don't try to fucking alpha male and, and put, and, and this was his attempt at control. Well, uh, you guys have to prove to me. The burden no, no, no. of proof is on you. No, it, is no, it's it? not. Not really. You wrote the article. You, you wrote it. The burden of proof is to you to back up what you said. Right. Right? Yeah, if you're going to say, ever wonder why those twits, Opie and Anthony, get to be radio stars, then all right, we, we call you out on that. Then you back it up. Why are we twits? And, and he won't say the word twit. Okay, then you drop the word twit. Un I liked, unfortunately, that also means Opie and Anthony uh, will maybe with us a little longer. He's saying, unfortunately, it's Even, bad that we're going to be around a bit longer. All right. Why? Why, why, is why that? does he? Th and he couldn't why even answer. That? He couldn't even answer that. Steve Knopper at Yahoo.com is on his site, and uh, I guess that's he, or, or where he writes. So maybe people know him. If anybody here knows him, I would encourage you. If you maybe one of you guys out there is friends with him, if you can write him and ask him that's why it. he would do that. That's what these guys do too. They just write it. No one calls him out on it. Then the second you call him out on it, you find out what uninformed. Little little dick bags they are. This, this, that's he's ex he's everything I fucking detest in the media. Mm -hmm. he, because he's a little he's a pussy boy. He's not comfortable unless he is surrounded by probably his faggoty Dave Matthews songs and his laptop. Like that's what he's comfortable. He he can write an article, but then when you ask him why did you write that about us or this, he has no answer. Yeah, he's just a, nothing. A little. And then he, a he goes, little well, back, a little fucking front. And then of he kind of admitted that we we're right. He's like, well, tell me about your show. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> you know? Tell us. You tell us. You're, that was great. This article makes it look like you know a lot about us. Why did I absolutely know that that conversation was going to go exactly the way it went? I, I was not surprised for one second during that whole uh, exchange. This guy has written a lot of stuff. Written for Rolling Stone. He's written for the Chicago Tribune. Another article for Rolling Stone. So this guy's a legitimate writer. He's written a lot of things. But when you see what he is as a man, is he's a little fucking, a little wishy-washy cunt of a man who can't just justify why he wrote what he wrote. Yeah, I think we got to get to Steve Knopper's bosses and go, uh, hey, uh, why do you allow a guy to write about something he obviously is uh, yeah. uninformed about? Send him the tape. If it's, a blog, about. if it's a blog and he has an opinion, that's one thing. But when you're writing for something... Uh, you know, I mean, again, he didn't state anything as fact. He's allowed to have his opinion. Yeah, he's, there's a reason why he's calling us twits. What is it? Yeah, but the guy can't back anything up. And the, I think Jesus, the, I think the reason is because he's heard about us in the in the in the big boy media, of course, yeah. yes. uh, and just assumes that he knows uh, about us without ever listening to one show. The main or one bit. The it, main problem with him, though, by the way, is that he he fucked up the Arbitron thing as to where these uh, people beaters were going to be. Yeah, that's too. In New York, he didn't have his facts right about the actual equipment. Yeah, we didn't even get to that point where he didn't have the facts right as to where these uh, people meters are. They're not in New York yet. You know who gave him a beating is Mike from uh, FMQB.com. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, Mike. Uh, Ooh, you're singing. That's being a twit and a goofus, uh, yeah, just making noises. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're being a goofus. A hold on, doofus. hold on. I'm sorry. A doofus. <laughs> God, that was great. I'm actually happy he did what he did because people like All right, here think, like, why do you hate critics? Why do you hate that? It's like, that's why. It's that's not why. the necessary opinion that they have. It's that they form an opinion like that and they write it and they come from this perspective of authority, this perspective of insider knowledge. Did you see my piece uh, that I wrote? Yeah, oh, I nice wrote piece. Thing. Yes, very nice piece.
You know, and then they hide behind. This is what I love too. When you call them out, well, why, why are you wasting your time talking to me? It's like no, no, no. Mm -hmm. You didn't write something from that point of view. You didn't write this from the point of view of I'm a little man and I'm an uninformed jerk off. Had you written from that point of view, we wouldn't have called you out on it. But you didn't. You wrote from the point of view of being a guy who's informed and a guy who's in the know. And uh, when you talk to man to man and not yelled at, not bullied, no, you're you're a cunt. (laughs) <laughs> for real, I'm not even. You're you're a cunt, and and you actually, your wife. I hope your wife heard that because she's also a writer from Columbia, and I hope you can look at each other when you fuck, and she realizes that she would have handled that the same way you would have. <laughs> there was some communication uh, going back and forth with uh, Mike and this guy from FMQB. Oh, yeah. uh, he explains why his he's misinformed about the whole uh, uh, people meter. Oh, he does a uh, portable people meter, which will bore the hell out of the audience, and I don't know how far we could get into that to begin with. But then he writes, uh, this is Mike uh, sticking up for us, in return for, in return for fact-checking your article, do you think you explain why uh, the ONA references were needed in the article? I mm-hmm. get it, you aren't a fan. If that is the reason, then just say so in the article. But to suggest Arbitron methodology is the reason doofus shock jocks stay on the air is just ludicrous. If anything, PPM will only enhance ONA's rating status as their target demo is one Arbitron had issues with reaching by using the diary method. So mm-hmm. he calls him out. Are you just saying it because you're not a fan? Then say so. Yeah, he kind of used the article, which has nothing to do with personal taste in radio shows. It's an article about the people meter versus uh, the old way that Arbitron uh, worked. And, and he's got to throw in this little personal sniper shot at the show. Steve wrote uh, Mike from FMQB back. He writes, the ONA references were perhaps gratuitous. Gr- gratuitous. Uh, gratuitous. Thank you, God. Uh, but the logic seems uh, commonsensical. No, he's, look at him, look at him. Commonsensical. Arbitron Diaries said they liked the show, therefore it got good ratings and had stayed on the air all these years. I am fairly confident that if it did not get good ratings, it would have been canceled long ago. Well, yeah, that's how it works. Duh. But yes. then not only Arbitron. Did I say duh. Not only Arbitron. <laughs> hit me. Arbitron <laughs> isn't the only thing that has proven that this is a successful show, you idiot. <laughs> Go to one of our comedy shows and, and, and sit outside the venue for two hours after the show is over as, as we're greeting our fans. But do you hear the snotty what tone? What a douche. Mm-hmm. Do you hear the snotty tone? You know, grab pride gratuitous. It's like, can you just be the little shaky-handed <laughs> faggot that you are? Stop <laughs> trying for empowerment through your writing. Yeah. You're uh, a frightened little fellow. I heard it. And then he writes, and then he writes this is hilarious. I'm to be on O&A tomorrow morning to respond. That should be interesting. I'd encourage you to write a letter to Wired if my answer is not sufficient. <laughs> well, well, how about it that? It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't even close to sufficient. And because that, again, is him expecting a, a pile-on yeah. when he called up. He expected a three-man pile-on where he wasn't going to get a word in edgewise and see, this is why I don't like your show, because you don't let people talk, blah, 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 whatever, but we gave him all the courtesy and all the opportunity to voice his uh, uh, opinion and his uh, uh, take on his own article, and look at what we got. Well, I'm going to hang up. If he would have said... I'll stand by my words. If yeah. he would have said, I, I think you're twitch because you had sex in a church and you did this and that, even if I disagree with him, at least he has read... Had ar- something. Some, dude, you write. Anything. He writes for Rolling Stone. He's a writer. And if he had to reach back uh, years ago to find something, whatever. You're like a professional writer, though. Yeah. You're not like a fucking guy who's just blogging at home. You're mm-hmm. a professional writer, which gives you some type of credibility. And uh, and But I like the fact that, like, naked, that's what you oh, are. You don't understand. A lot of people out there probably don't understand the joy we get yes. in something like that. That beats the hell out of just yelling at somebody. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beats the hell out hey, of hey, just let's yelling. let's not take that out of the uh, equation. Well, hell no. It's fun to yell. Oh, I like that. All right, good. But something like that, as, as far as satisfaction goes, is just like, good. He just, he pretty much laid out what he was all about. Yes. We didn't even have to raise I, a hand. I love when we could... Uh, you know, beat someone up with our brains. He's just a our snot. Brain power. You don't even have to be smart to beat him up. He's a snot. He's a he's a front of the bus fucking snot. He's a fucking hall monitor snot. And uh, he's a snarky, bloggy type cunt of a message board dude. That's the vibe. I don't. I don't. I'm not attacking all message boards. Yes, but I'm yes. talking. No, no. I'm talking about the ones that will just that will kind of bitch you anonymously, even though he wasn't anonymous. When when eye to eye, he couldn't say, "Yeah, this is why I don't like you." I'm still trying to get over the fact I said. Uh, That's all right. He's just. A, oh, there's nothing. <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, what a snotty, failed musician, cunt of a man. 
talking about me? No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, shit. No, no, no. He's not again. I like when you use snot. He is a snot. snot. That's what he is. He's like a little, he's a little elitist snot, but he's not a good enough writer or smart enough guy. A good writer right. who really wanted to eviscerate the show never would have been this sloppy. That's the greatest yeah. crime is not knowing where these things debuted. Right. You're, you're writing a factual article, you dumb motherfucker. Yeah, take us out of the whole mix. It's still a piece of it's shit. It's still <laughs> an inaccurate article. It's still an inaccurate piece of shit. It's still like nothing out of other than the article. Yeah. Opie and Anthony. That's what you're listening to, and I stand by that. <laughs> I'm just going to stand uh, by it. No, it's your job to prove to me that you are Opie and Anthony. No, I'm just going to stand by the fact that... People are listening to Opie and Anthony and little Jimmy Norn. Mm -hmm. um, just a quick point, too. Like, we've been called out on stuff before when we've been douches. Like, when Whoopi walked in that day, we just kind of laughed at ourselves. Like, all right, we're dicks. And we fucking loved her for hanging out and coming in and, and doing that. Like, mm -hmm. it's like when you get called out sometimes and, and you've been an ass, you got to go, ah, I was being an ass. Yeah, sometimes you're just an ass. So what? Yeah. But, uh. Sarah Jessica Parker back in the day? <laughs> yeah, sure. You know. But uh, wow, what a what a what a what a he what came a, across what a as a uninformed. Douche. That's good, doofus. That's good, <laughs> and I stand by that. He is a twit. He's and a twit. A Prove me wrong. I stand by that. Steve Knopper is a twit <laughs> and a doofus. How about if I would I get in trouble if I said I heard Steve Knopper sucks cocks? Steve, prove me wrong. Eat a pussy in front of me. <laughs> is that slander? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't say that. <laughs>